Hey guys, Jason here with a word to the wise. I got a couple points I want to point out. Uh, first thing that's on my mind, DeSantis. It hit me last night. What or yesterday? What do you get with DeSantis in Florida? Is you get a man of the people who what creates trust between the people and then brings out some sort of a, you know, after he's gained the trust of the people, I've heard people down in Florida, I know people down in Florida, I live down in Florida, and what I'm hearing is they are mega Trump, Trump followers, and uh, so there again, you have to attack that kind of a scenario in a different way, and I feel that it's just a giant experiment to see and test on the people. That's why you have these people like, uh, like you know, New York and, and California that are just over the top totalitarian. And then you have these other people that are for the people. And what are they doing? They're testing to see what works better. You can put a blinker on, jeez. But, so in that same kind of thing, think that it's a testing to see how and what works better and what are they doing they're they're taking down you know the the findings and they're going to say in the future this worked better than that you know obviously sugar works better than vinegar or you know whatever that saying is that you know if we sit here and we we say we're for the people which i'm sure they already know uh, it's a very psychological thing that's happening anyway but you know, here you have, after it's all said and done, what is he doing? He's doing the same thing everybody else is doing. Oh, here's a vial of a clear liquid I got from a pharmaceutical company, sorcery, and I'm, you know, oh, you need to get this, but you need to get it in your early stages of your of your sickness, and that'll help, you know, let's get all through all this trouble that we are facing these days. And so if you just do it, you know, everything's gonna work out fine in the end, right? Same scenario different label on the package, you know, they just, you know, different name, yet, you, you know, comes through a needle, got it injected into your bloodstream, once you get into the bloodstream, you're past the immune system, all right, I, I'm fine either way, thanks, you know, oh, we're not recommend, you know, we're not, we're not demanding it like those other people, we'll let you make the choice, but hey, hey, let's go grab a beer real quick, and we'll all buddy up, no thanks, get away from me. Um, and another thing, my, my, my wife wanted me to watch some video that people have been recommending to her and we don't see eye to eye on everything that's going on in the world, but that's what kind of has helped me realize that sharing, gaining all this information and then wanting to share it can be too much for people that aren't looking for it. You know, and trying to you know, put all this craziness, that's telling them that, you know what, you have no idea what's really going on in the world. Let me show you, you know, the world of the real and what, you know, it's like the Matrix, you know, when all of a sudden he, he, he's stuck in the virtual program and it's just too much for his senses to take. And that's basically the people that are, you know, kind of blind to what's really going on in the world, which is why they need the love of the truth. They, you know, and to make people do that, it's up to them. You know, you can show somebody how to walk, but you can't make them stand up and then start putting one foot in front of the other. Um, but she, she wanted me to watch, or she wanted to watch some movie that people have been recommending to her, and it was all about that, uh, not Soleimani, but the, the Washington uh, Khashoggi, I think his name was from the uh, Washington Post who went to the, he went to the uh, embassy and then he never came out and it caused that whole thing of like, you know, you know, freedom of the press and on and on and on. So you start watching this thing that, that people from the Middle East are recommending that people need to understand, you know, they don't have freedom of speech. You can't even have an opinion. Um, but let me pull over here for a second. And so the people are like, look, this is how it is. It's crazy. 
And so they have a, what? They have a, a poster child, you know, that really has a voice because he was a uh, reporter in the U.S. and he was getting all these secrets out. And then when he gave out too many, they got tired of him. They called him back over to, you know, some sort of an embassy and then boom, he disappears. We can only imagine the worst has happened. And that's what they're showing in the video is all sorts of crime scenes and stories. And oh, here's a security camera clip, you know, from across town. Somebody bringing a, a bag into a grocery store or, or a restaurant or a house or whatever, whatever, whatever. But they have all these recordings and there's some guy that has the same kind of scenario happening to him now. And he's telling his side how they keep trying to lure him over and, you know, come over and we'll give you your own TV show. and You can speak all you want of all these freedoms, but it's a crime. It's one thing to speak an opinion, but when you have a mass audience, it's a crime. So the thing I was thinking is like, well, look, this guy had painted a gigantic target on his back saying all the... All right, my phone almost ran out of uh, memory. 128 gigs full. Um, but he painted a huge target on his back and literally that could leave anybody in society that doesn't agree, even citizens over there that think he's you know, against the religion, the, the government and he could be taken out at any any time just going to a grocery store if somebody recognizes him and says no you're a bad guy so now what happens he went into an embassy and he disappeared disappeared so imagine all you got to do put him in a car leaving that place they didn't show any cars coming and going so you don't see really how he leaves i don't believe yet and so you know stick them in a trunk we're gonna take you down the street we'll get you out we're gonna you know dress you up shave your face you know give you a spray tan who knows and then you're gonna become you know alan watson you know from she sheboygan you know idaho or whatever and there again now he's got a different person you know and it frees his family, you know, there's not the constant threat. Like if you don't stop doing this, we're gonna start attacking your friends, your family, on and on and on. So what happens? He gets a divorce right before he comes, I believe to America. And then he gets a new fiance, which is maybe a handler or somebody watching or, or who knows what this girl is, you know, her purpose, if it's not just companionship, who knows. But, you know, he moves on. And he has to leave all that stuff behind because he served a purpose, serving probably that bird that has the two heads and it feels both sides of the story. And now what is the long game in this? The, the, the big game that they're trying to do, it's taking down kingdoms. It shows how bad it is in Saudi Arabia, how bad it is in Kuwait, how bad, you know, we're seeing now how bad China is. We know China's bad. But what is that? What is the necess, What is necessary? What are they trying to do in the long game? They need to tear down every single kingdom, so they can rise a new kingdom. I think this was in the uh, the days of Noah video I was talking about. It's three and a half hours, but I'll tell you what: you watch the three and a half hours, it's amazing. But they need to tear down every kingdom. So, like Haiti, they weren't on board. What happens? They you know have some some insurrection-y thing where they take out the president and now they put somebody else up. You know, look at Como, he had all this power, but what happens? You take him out of power and you put some newbie in there. Now it's a whole nother, another, uh, you know, they're fresh off the boat. They can't really sit there and boast that they have, you know, all this knowledge and power and la da 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 Same thing for Boston. You know, they have this, uh, these mayors and governors that have all this kind of, you know, you know, they're, they're front page news, you know, across these major uh, news stations. And what happens once that, you know, their time has gotten so big, now they get taken down, they go on to bigger and better things or they get taken out of the picture. But the people see, they, they keep demanding freedom, freedom for everybody, freedom for those poor people, freedom for those guys. And why does it have to be like that over there? They don't have our freedoms and we need to be like, you know, this, and you know, I want to be like that. And I want to be the way it was. And 
But when you have all these evil kings, they're the problem. It shows they need to be taken out. So, you know, it makes that point. But, uh, yeah, I, all I saw was a, a you know, they, it was, it was, it was, if the people are so blinded by the video and they think that this is what everybody needs to see and look how bad it is and this is a great story, all I saw was, was a, a movie being made, a propaganda movie. So, um, I'll leave it at that, but on to, uh, this next thing, looking at what's coming upon, uh, uh, New England area this weekend is this is all these little storms that are you know big storms that are coming up from the ocean now I, I lived in Florida and I dealt with tons of hurricanes for 20 years and basically I mean we, we would sit either at one or two places and literally I'd see the streets flooded almost right up to the front door at people's houses my 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 brother had a house that was way up on a hill so it was you know, it, it never had any problems. We just sat there sometimes, though, and, and category three, category fours, and we would just stare at trees across the street, leaning over, and we're like, oh, it's going to fall now, it's going to fall. After a while, you get so bored, you just hop in the car, and you start driving around in a hurricane. And we went past, you know, plenty of houses, and you see a tree here or there falling over, but these old houses built in the 60s that don't have, you know, these kinds of... Uh, codes that are protecting it and they never get flooded they never you know we lived on the tampa side in you know on the gulf side and it's hard to get a direct hit with the surges coming inland but if it ever came around the tip of florida and with the right angle hurricane francine almost was just perfect but it turned up to new orleans guided most likely i know but at the same time, if it would have came the direction it was coming, it probably would have flooded my house. I was about eight to 10 blocks from the ocean, from the Gulf, and the water surge, my house is probably only five feet above sea level. And if it would have came up eight feet, my house would have been three feet underwater. But my house has been there, my house that I had at the time, had been there since the 60s and never had ever gotten flooded through all the hurricanes and the storms that have ever hit Florida and you know global warming and all that jazz um, but now I think we're going to see more of that extreme weather because that's going to be kind of a way they're gonna push the nature agenda and you know and I, that's another thing I want to point out yes is the uh, Look at all these movies that come out. Oh, it's the true story of what really happened with the forest fire firemen that got trapped in the fire and oh, they all perished, but they were heroes up until the end. And oh, there's the Marky Mark one with the, uh, what is it, the oil fire. Oh, look at all the disaster and havoc and the unnecessary, you know, things that, you know, we don't need that stuff anymore. But think of it in a different way that and this kind of came to me ever since 2001, the New York story that, you know, happened that changed the way the world sees the world. And they start making movies about, oh, these were the firemen that were in the building when it collapsed. These were the people that were on that airplane when it went down because the people rose up and they took down the plane. Or you get that other side of the story that was told to people like, look, this thing didn't crash. That building was taken down on purpose. And who knows the real story of what happened to these firefighters, on and on and on. But they make a hero story out of it, and then they put all the narratives in there to keep everybody on the storyline of what really happened. And now you got someone to blame, you know the real story, quote, quote. And think about that when you see any of those stories that come out they always put the biggest movie stars in there they got the biggest budgets and it's a great story probably a great tearjerker by the end of it all but it's a it's a narrative enforcer now it's it's written down so if somebody causes it they make up the the movie to cover the storyline of what really happened and then that is kind of what seals it into history so th there's a lot going on in this video I'm gonna have to put it together since my, my my memory ran out halfway through, but I'll put the two videos together and I'll, I'll put this up. But I gotta go to the grocery store, I gotta get gas, we got a big busy day, so I gotta run. God bless guys. All we can do is watch, you know, and see what's going on. 
you know, it doesn't matter to me really anymore which direction it all goes. I'm just trying to stay on the narrow path and keep in focus. And we know the evils that are out there and the evils that are coming and what's what's going to happen in the long run. You know, there's nothing but trouble. But can we now I'm starting to question the time we are in, which part of the time we are in. And unless we start seeing that first bull um, proof starting to, to show up more and more, we might just be in the midst of the seals. We might be in the midst of the trumpets. You know, we might be way off in our timeline. And if you think about where we got the timeline from, we got it from one guy and he's gone. He's got a ton of good information out there, but at the same time, now he's gone. He gave us all this direction, but now he's not hes not here to, to, to kind of keep backing up what we're seeing, where we're going, what's going on. And I'm sorry I did the, 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 the hand sign. I'm not trying to do hand signs. So God bless. Have a good weekend. I'll try to make more if I got time and, and I got something that comes to me. Word to the wise.